Hey up, how are we doing here? This is just a quick setting guide. I haven't seen any on YouTube of the little micro switches, what we have here. I'm running there, the Renergy Lithium battery. And as you can see, I have number one off. What sometimes I say to do with your voltage, you can have on. But the main thing is to have number five off. And I've got three, two, three, four on. And it runs perfect at the moment. I, I am, I've been running it, like I say, a couple of weeks, a week, a couple of weeks now. Uh, and it's a fantastic bit of kit. I get me full, 40 amps straight away. I've got it on a, like an isolator switch fuse down there. As you can see, let me just move that away. Everything's just all jumbled up at the moment. Need all tidying up. I've got my solar array wiring to do yet. So it's all a bit um, jumbled up. So these are just like flick isolator switches. Um, so I have linked my lead to the positive main in. So when I flick that, it's, it'll turn straight on. Because I like to get my uh, vehicle warmed up before I flick it on anyway. Instead of having that power straight away and you're on and then you start, start your vehicle up but I thought I'll just uh, show you because like I say I haven't seen any videos I've seen people break them down and one thing or another but about the settings and it's quite confusing the settings in the little manual so that's what I on I like looked on some forums and that so I've set it at that and it seems to work all right perfect for me I don't need it on at the moment. I'm getting some um, good solar array at the moment. Only thing is, I'm changing these leads now. Um, I'm putting the big gauge ones on, what I have got incoming on. Uh, what is the 170 amp, 25 mils? I'm putting them on as well. Because these ones that I have got, they just slightly get slightly warm so I want to be um, on top of the job but thanks for watching anyway I just thought uh, best thing to do thank you goodbye